Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I wanted to give my review over Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Atlanta. So let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. So Jock, Scrappy, Jock and Scrappy are uh, working out. Something that we all need to be trying to do, okay? I'm not even mad at Scrappy, okay? Scrappy said he got to lose that baby weight. I said, I know that's right. Um, Kirk um, is meeting up with them. Um, you know, Scrappy says that Kirk is his motivation. Now, I'm not trying to be funny when I say this, but I've never seen Kirk work out a day on Love and Hip Hop at all. When I look at Kirk, I don't think about the gym, so I'm not exactly sure how he is um, Scrappy's motivation, but it is what it is. Um, Kirk arrives and he brings Mo. Now, let me just say something. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I got a whole lot of growing up to do. But ain't no way in hell I'm going to be hanging out with my old bitch new nigga. No. We can be cool. Yeah, I, I came to y'all party. You know, hey, how y'all, how you doing? But other than that, like, we not hanging out. Like, I just feel like, what are we going to talk about? Like, I guess because I think about sex and like I think about the conversations that like when I think about you know what not not even me when I think about the niggas like Scrappy and Jock and Kirk like I know that they don't have conversations about like you know black issue I'm not gonna say I know I don't think that their conversations involve like a little bit of politics a little bit a little bit about women issues a little bit about you know black issues i feel like the number one topic is bitches hoes and fucking <laughs> i'm just saying so it's like just like the last time when i was at the table jock asked these two married men would you smash spice what how are you gonna ask these men who are married on tv would they fuck another bitch that's the type of conversations that I know they're used to having. So what I'm trying to say is like, I'm not I'm not about to be hanging around my old chick, new man, and I know the conversations that we have. Talking about sex. Talking about this. And then I know you probably gonna sit there and wonder if I'm talking about, oh yeah, I used to fuck with this bitch back in the day and she used to do so and so and so and so. What if, what if I forget that you even right there at the table and I'm talking about Carly Red doing so and so and so and so and I'm like, oh shit. You said I'm like, I just believe, I, I'm not doing that. That's just me. Um, Scrappy says that he can't hang around single people. Now, I'm not exactly what, this is why you're confused on that too, because I hear a lot of, I hear a lot of married people say that, they, that married people shouldn't hang around single people, like married people, like y'all hoes ain't trifling either, because the last time I checked, one of your homeboys, Scrappy, by the name of Kirk, had a whole goddamn baby on his wife with a stripper whore. Shout out to the stripper whores. I'm not trying to, I'm not, I'm not trying to like, you know, be funny when I say stripper whore, you know, but he had a baby with a stripper whore. It wouldn't have made it no better if he had one with Michelle Obama. At the end of the day, you had a baby outside of your marriage, but for some reason you think that hanging around single people gonna get you in trouble? No, nigga, hanging around Kirk, who's a married man, gonna get you into trouble. Because last time I checked, wasn't he in a hot tub with your bitch a couple of seasons ago? But that ain't none of my business, though. Anyways, um, Ogbar and Tiara take the kids on a play date. Um, Ogbar lets us know for the 15th time that her cousin Candy bought her that <laughs> girl. I said, Ogbar, if you let us know one more time that Candy got you that goddamn apartment, girl, I am going to scream. Girl, we get it. We know Candy put the down payment and the first and the last month's rent down on your apartment. Girl, we get it. We understand Candy is your cousin. Girl, we get it. We, we don't need you to remind us that every episode. <laughs> girl. <laughs> um... Uh, somehow it comes up uh, with Tiara that um, Monice and Scrap are talking. And <laughs> I thought it was so funny when, when Agbar said, well, girl, you know, he, she told me that Scrap fucked the shit out of her. <laughs> I was like, yes, Agbar! I don't know why I thought that shit tickled me so hard. Anyways, Agbar is a type of person that has a fucked up, messy-ass life. But she really does give out good advice and she tells you the truth. Like when she like when she told um when she told uh Mo, uh Tiara girl, Tiara um scrap fuck the shit out of Monique's girl just to FYI. When she told Tiara girl you dumb as fuck. 
why you want to be with a nigga who not even claiming claiming you girl yes all of that um tiara says let me just be digmatized so are y'all fucking now tiara because the last episode i remember you said that you threw the pussy at scrap at least 12 times and he didn't catch it so uh did y'all fuck uh, did y'all so i'm assuming y'all fuck since then i don't know child um tiara says she wants to meet up with monice to get to the truth and she wants Akbar to set up the woman to set up the meeting <laughs> let me see, let me see. I want everybody to, I want everybody to know something why do you feel the need to sit down and have a conversation with a new bitch about your nigga or your old nigga or somebody who you think you involved with because you feel as though he not gonna tell you the truth, so so the new so the new girl gonna tell you the truth. Girl, <laughs> let me tell y'all something. Spread the word, spread and give out the message that if I if Rodney ever be involved in some shit, tell them niggas don't hit me up, don't hit me up, don't ask me nothing because I don't have nothing to say. I don't have nothing to say about what's going on between you. If your man ain't gonna tell you the truth, then ain't got nothing to do with me. Honestly, I don't even give a fuck about that nigga like that. I just wanted to smash. Okay, so you might not want to hear what I got to say. So don't don't hit me up on my inbox. Don't slide in my DMs. Don't leave no comment under none of my videos. Cause at the end of the day, I'm not meeting up with you. If your man ain't gonna tell you the truth, then I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, um, Shay, Shay is dumb. <laughs> Shay is Shay is a dumb chick. Because how do you how do you have this whole you have this plan of wanting to be a DJ? I want to be a DJ. Um, hold up. Okay, um, I want to be a DJ. Um, and then you finally get the opportunity, and then you show up to this party, um, pissed off at Carly Red because Carly Red supposedly doesn't know who you are and um, you feel disrespected and even if Carly Red knew who you Carly Red knew who the fuck Shay was but why were your feelings that hurt to the point where you would fuck up what you got going on so now it's gonna get out that you're an unprofessional bitch um, don't work with Shay Mac so you just ruined an opportunity because you pretty much was trying to handle some mess for Pooh. Pooh don't give a fuck about you, Shay Mac. So now you back at the bar cutting lemons. <laughs> <laughs> you was on your path to doing whatever your dream job was. Now you back at the bar cutting lemons. Can I have a vodka tonic, please? Lime? <laughs> Since you're a bartender again. God, I don't get it. I'm glad Shekana, I'm glad Shekana Joe and Tokyo held her accountable. Like, like Shekana said, girl, I love you, girl, but bitch, you wrong. You wrong. You need to apologize to that girl, Carly Red. Like, you was dirty for that. Like, you taking on some shit that didn't even have nothing to do with you. Pooh getting on my nerve, too. Um, anyways, Carly Red has a miscarriage. I feel bad for Carly. Um, I mean, I feel bad for her. Um, Ogbar sitting in the dark. Now I'm not gonna lie. When Ciara went over to Ogbar's house, I thought that Ogbar was trying to save on her light bill. I said, okay, girl, because it's, it's pitch black. I'm sure, you know, that little boy probably got every goddamn light on in the house. I'm sure he probably be fucking with the thermostat. Got the refrigerator door open at all times. I mean, all times throughout the day. You know, so I was like, she was. I thought she was trying to cut back on her light bill, but so. But she got shot in her head, and I think like the lights sometimes um, mess with her head. Basically, um, oh, she got shot in her head, and the bullet is still there. So I think sometimes the lights, you know, give her headaches. So sometimes she feels more comfortable, or it it, it hurts less when she sits in the dark. Um, Ciara seems like you know Ciara seems like a good friend. I'm not gonna lie. Tiara, I mean, Ogbar was actually on Candy's uh, YouTube show, and she was saying how. Her and Ciara actually, I think she said they've been on each other like since they were like little girls. 
Like, I think they went to, like, the middle... I think they went to middle school together. Like, she said that they've been knowing each other for a very, 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 very long time. Um, so, I think that... She said they're really friends, like, outside the show. Um... We're going to come back to Monice and this whole scrap and all this stuff later. Um, Mo. Let me just say something about Mo. Mo finds out that he has a child. Carly Red, I think... This is what I think should have happened. Okay. I'm team Mo on this one. I am. But I think where Mo fucked up is... He should have told Carly. I don't give a fuck what Rashida or goddamn um, Mimi say. He should have told. He should have told um, Carly Red from the gate. We about to get married. If somebody hit you up in your inbox and say, "Hey, you're the father of my you or you may be the father of my child," the first thing he should have done was go and tell Carly Red, "Hey, baby, before I got before we got together." I had a relationship where I had some, you know, I was having sex with this girl. She just hit me up and told me that I may be the father of her child. Um, I'm going to fly down there to take a DNA test and, you know, we'll find out if I am or if I'm not. I think that's what he should have did. This whole, <clears throat> this whole, oh, um, he shouldn't have told her. Because what if he wasn't a father? But he is though. That's that's the point. That's the point now. He is a father. He should have told her from the gate, so it wouldn't be this big surprise. Like, hold on, what the fuck you mean? You got a baby? Why didn't you tell me this when you found out a few weeks ago? Yes, he should have told her out the gate. There is a possibility. Hey, wife. Hey, you're about. Hey, fiance. Hey, we're about to get married. I need to let you know that this girl just hit me up and said that I may be the father of her child. I don't know. I'm going to fly down to Arkansas and take a blood test and get all this shit situated. But I wanted to let you know because we're about to get married. And I think that's something that you may want to know. Because it may be a possibility that another bitch may come out the woodworks. Especially since I'm on this TV show saying that I'm the father of her child too. I'm just saying. Anyways, but I do believe Mo. I think that's where he messed up at. But I do believe Mo. I don't think he's ever cheated on Carly Red. I mean, hell, they only been together for the, they only been together for six months. Five. How long? How long were they? How long were they together before they uh, got engaged? Five months. We'll say they've been together for a year when they started shooting. He said he ain't never cheated on her. I believe him. Um, I do believe him about how. You know he got how he got in con got in contact with his baby mama. Um, I believe that he was trying to do what he thought was best by not telling Carly Red, but I think that he made a mistake. Um, I believe him. I believe that. I believe that he didn't know. I believe he didn't know until now. I thought that he probably thought that the baby wasn't gonna be his, so I ain't gonna say nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna say nothing to the bitch because. If the baby not mine, why I need to say something get her nerves worked up? Even though he should have said something. Because now the baby is yours. Anyways, Erica was knocked up. Erica is knocked up. She had a little, little party. It was cute. Um, Shay apologizes to Carly Red. Um, now it looks like Shay is going to turn her back on Pooh. Pooh kind of get on my nerve a little bit. Um, now let's talk about this whole Monique scrap, Tiara. When it comes to Tiara, this is where I get confused at. Because Tiara got married. Did she have a baby, I guess? She got married while Scrap was in jail. Um, I guess after she got divorced, they started to communicate while he was in jail, I guess. Because I remember her saying something about the first episode or the second episode that she was going to have a baby, a baby girl with Scrap or something like that. But then when he gets out of prison, you say you thrown the pussy at him 12 times. So he not even he not even fucking you, um, Tiara. Maybe if and I don't want to I don't want to reduce it down just to sex because you can mind fuck somebody without having sex. But maybe if he was having sex with you and playing these games, then maybe I can see it. But from what I get 
what I got until this episode. What I got until this episode scrap was pretty much being honest with you. Now I see a little bit of an issue, I'm not gonna lie, because Scrap is a fuck nigga. And Scrap likes to play, like he likes to play on words. So I kind of get what Tiara is coming from a little bit now. Like for example, when he sat down with Tiara and said, we're a family. No, y'all not no family. I'm sorry. You, you, you her baby daddy and she your baby mama. Y'all gonna co-parent. But this whole, oh, we a family shit, you know this girl already crazy. You know she already popping you in your face. You know clearly her feelings are caught up. So why are you still pushing this whole, we are a family? That's not making the situation any better. Tiara is a grown ass woman, yes. She needs to snap out of it. But even with that being said, Scrap, you playing games with this girl. You are. You are, you are playing games. And I didn't see it up until this episode. But you playing games. You playing games. You playing games with Monice. Even when Monice addressed, came to you and just even asked you, why don't you tell me that you, you know, had got the halfway house? I was going to try to surprise you. <laughs> Girl. Like Monice said, you, bitch, you're not fit to try to man manipulate the situation. I was going to try to try to surprise you. When she told you about your baby mama, Mo, uh, Tiara, coming at her on social media, you act like you can't do nothing about that. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You need to sit Tiara down and let Tiara know, Tiara, we are not going to be anything more than parents to our son. That's it. We will never be. I will never have a relationship with you. You will never have a relationship with me. We are just going to be parents. That's it. But you don't do that. You don't do that. You don't do that. You sit here and you, call, you, tell, you tell a girl, we're going to be a family. You probably sit there and you talk to the girl on the phone, probably send her text messages, just flirt, flirt with her through text message. I'm, I'm finally starting to see that, Scrap, you, you are playing these games. Now, I don't want to let these women off too easy because at the end of the day, these are grown-ass women. I don't know why y'all letting this nigga who ain't got shit to offer y'all play games with y'all. This nigga been in prison for three motherfucking years. What is he going to do for you, Monice, and your son? T.R., he can't do nothing for you. At one point, <laughs> can't no nigga do nothing for you when he got a curfew. If you got a curfew, baby, you can't do nothing for me. Nothing. Nothing. Can't no grown man with no curfew. Can't no grown man who got to check in with the white people every other hour. You can't do shit for me or my children. So why am I playing games with you? I don't get it. Anyways, um, Scrap is a fuck nigga. Um, I think that he likes to manipulate situations, especially when it involves females. Um... I think that, yes, these women should be held accountable because it's like, girl, y'all letting this nigga do all the shit to y'all. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, I mean, they say women are emotional. I don't know how true that is. I feel like niggas are emotional, too. Y'all were going to tell me my face. I had some dry shit on the side of my face. I'm sorry. I just washed my face. I did wash my face, y'all. I want y'all to think I'm nasty, bitch. Y'all wasn't going to tell me, but I've been sitting here making this whole video. Well, I should put some lotion on my face. It's too late now. The video is done. Um, I don't know. Like, I just feel like, I, I don't know. Like, I just, I don't understand when women get involved with niggas like Scrap. Like, I just don't get it. I know some of y'all, y'all love them niggas. Like niggas like scrap you supposed to fuck and that's it and your feelings not supposed to get caught up but look at Tiara look at Monice Monice you sitting here talking to a nigga on the, on the phone while he in prison and now you like the simple fact that you even sitting here crying in front of a nigga who can't do shit for you who literally just stopped having a curfew a few days ago like Monice baby get it together Tiara, the simple fact that you have to sit here and you know this nigga, you, you have the most experience with this nigga and you still let this nigga play these games with you. Yeah, he might not be fucking, he might not be met fucking uh, Tiara, but he putting it out there, he making her believe that it's, it's a future pretty much. Yeah, we a family. We gonna always be a family. No, y'all not no family. 
Y'all not no family. Y'all have a son together. That's it. Anyway, child, let me go, y'all. Um, that's it. I gotta do hot topics by y'all.